right, so today we're going to be doing the Ellipse Lab on page 321. We have already had done some things for you in the procedure. So we have a piece of string that you're going to need. And we tied it to make a loop. We have a plain white piece of paper. And we have found the middle of the paper for you. For part three of the procedure, near the center of this line, we're going to draw two dots three centimeters apart. So you would normally use a pencil, but I'm going to use Sharpie so you could see it better. Make sure that you have your ruler set to centimeters. And from one side, we're going to measure one and a half centimeters on one side, and then one and a half centimeters from the other side. And that is going to be a total of three centimeters apart. If you turn to the next page, you're going to put the thumb tacks for the foci. So this is foci one and this is foci two. The center of those two points that you place. Then you're going to loop the string around the two push pins. Place your pencil or pen very tightly through the loop and then draw your ellipse. This is the first ellipse that you're going to have drawn and you're going to label this ellipse ellipse one. So take out your push pins and you're going to label this ellipse number one. And we're going to see that this is foci one and foci two for that first ellipse that you drew. Now we're going to measure the distance between the foci and it should be three centimeters if you did it correctly and it is. So for the first ellipse the distance between the foci is three centimeters. And then you're going to major, um, measure the length of the major axis, which is from here to here. And that is approximately 19.6 centimeters. You're going to place that in the report sheet here. So the distance between the foci is three centimeters. The length of the major axis is 19.6 centimeters. And now you're going to find the eccentricity. So eccentricity equals the distance between the foci divided by the length of the major axis. So if we plug this into our formula, we get three divided by 19.6, and remember there are no units for eccentricity. If I take my calculator, three divided by 19.6 equals 0 0.15306. And there's no units, but we have to measure to the nearest thousandths place, which is the third decimal after, the third place after the decimal. The number next to it is less than five, so now our answer is 0.153. So the answer for our first ellipse is 0.153. Now I'm on procedure nine on page 322. It says move each tack out one centimeter and draw a new ellipse. So from where the tacks were before, I'm now going to draw new foci one centimeter away from the original ones that I drew. So I'm going to do this in a different color. So this is foci 2 for the second ellipse and foci 1 for the second ellipse. And now I'm going to place my pins in the foci. And I have my string which I'm going to place over my pins. 
And when you draw your ellipse, don't start where the major axis is, kind of go above or below, and make sure and see how the string came out of the uh, pin. You wanna make sure that you're in both pins and tightly pull, and then draw. So if you have some overlapping here, that's fine. Don't worry about that. You could always um, redraw your ellipse if you make a really big mistake. The most important is that you have a very smooth line in these locations over the major axis. So now we're gonna remove the pins. See how they're, they're labeled, I did it in green. And now we're gonna label this ellipse number two and do our measurements. So the ellipse number two, we're gonna measure the distance between the foci, which is five centimeters. And now the length of the major axis, make sure that you are drawing and measuring the correct one. So I'm doing it from here to here with my ruler. And this is about 17.8. So the length is 17.8 centimeters. Notice I'm moving my foci further apart from each other. So when you do your eccentricity, Make note of what's actually happening to the number of the eccentricity as you move the foci further apart. So now I'm going to plug this data into my report sheet on page 220, uh, I'm sorry, 323. So the distance was 5 centimeters and the length of my major axis was 17.8 centimeters. And you're going to figure out the eccentricity and do not forget to round to the nearest thousands place. Now on procedure uh, 10, it says move the tack out another two, uh, one centimeter. So I took out the tacks, and now I'm gonna draw another ellipse, but the foci are gonna be another centimeter away. From the foci that I did for ellipse two. So that's here in red. So I'm getting further away from the center, my foci are getting further apart. I'm gonna place my tacks in F2 and F1. Place my string around both foci tacks. Make sure that, see, you wanna make sure that the string is over the tacks and you're going around very tightly with your string. Take out your string, take out your tacks, and we're going to now measure ellipse number, we're going to label this ellipse number three, and we're going to calculate the data for it. So the distance between the foci for this ellipse is seven centimeters. The length of the major axis is 15.5 centimeters. And we're gonna plug that information on our report sheet on page 323. Distance between the foci is seven centimeters. The length is 15 centimeters, 15.5, I said. Yes. So let's make that 15.5 centimeters. And you're going to find your eccentricity for ellipse number three. Okay, the last part here, number 11 on the procedure, on page 322, says move the tack out another one centimeter. So let's do that. So from the foci that you drew for ellipse three, we're going to go another centimeter out. And now I'm gonna do this in blue, so you can see ellipse four drawn in blue. You're gonna put your tacks on the major axis where it crosses 
F1 um, and 2 for your fourth ellipse. Place your string. And then above or below the major axis, pull tightly and draw your ellipse. Notice what happened as we moved the foci apart. Look at the shape of your ellipse. Think to yourself, is this more elliptical? Is this less elliptical? Take out your tacks and then measure your distance between your, the foci. And this is nine centimeters. And then the length of the major axis is 13.8 centimeters. Let's place that information on a report sheet on page 323. So the distance is nine centimeters and the length of the major axis is 13.8 centimeters. And you're going to calculate the eccentricity and for ellipse two, three, and four, don't forget to round to the nearest thousands place.